If you do woodworking or anything dusty, you've probably used one of these bulky cyclone separators set up to your shop vac. They work fairly well, but they're kind of awkward, they take up space, and to be honest, they just feel like a sloppy workaround. So it got me thinking, why haven't any of these big companies just built the Cyclone into the shop vac itself? I mean, Dyson did this years ago. Why has the shop vac design barely changed in decades? Well, in this video, I'm going to prove that not only is this a good idea, but should be the future of shop vacs. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want a hack. I want a smart, powerful system that actually fits in my workshop. So I'm building it. And I want to hear from all of you what you think and if this is the future of shop vacs. The base concept of my prototype is going to start out from this, the Oneida Low Pro Dust Deputy. This has kind of the main key features that I want built into this shop vac idea anyways. The five gallon bucket is going to basically be the main canister. The lid already has a low profile single cyclone already built into it. It has some casters and everything. Really the only thing you need for this to turn it into a shop vac is just a motor. So that's what I did. I bought a motor, I strapped it to the underside. Uh, because really there wasn't a great solution for strapping it up top to the lid. So rather than vacuuming the air up through the lid to form the cyclone, I'm going to be sucking the air down to form the cyclone. Uh, this is convenient just because all that weight now is at the bottom of this bucket, so I'll be able to drag this thing around my garage. The first thing I want to do is basically just make sure once I get the motor now on the bottom, everything's still working as it should. You still get the cyclone and everything. So I'm basically just going to copy what's going on in here anyway. So this is currently the piece that sits inside the lid of the Oneida dust separator. Basically what's happening is air's coming in kind of to the side of this blue piece. It's hitting the cyclone within the lid. That's making it lose momentum and dropping down. You have kind of this angled fan type of uh, mechanism here. So I'm going to just copy that. I made the kind of the same mechanism up here at the top, made it a little bit more aggressive. And then I just have this tube coming down, flares out to kind of go over where the motor is. Inside the motor, I have a reusable filter. So just make sure any dust that does make it past that cyclone doesn't go immediately into the motor. And then just a little cap piece. So I'm going to cap off the top of the lid that used to be the outlet. This will go on like this. And then, yeah, should work. As you can see, there's all that dust around it. I see a little bit of dust on kind of the inside of the this top piece. So let me suck this out and then we'll open it up and see what's in the filter. Now I sucked up pretty much all that dust. The main reason is since the filter's all the way at the bottom, hopefully this will be kind of a true indication of how much dust has made it in. Let's take a look at this. All right, that's the inside. So you can see this was clean before. So there's clearly dust, dust getting in. And then here's the filter. It's probably not easy to see, but you can look all on the side there. You can see all that dust. It doesn't look like really much got to the motor itself, but I think that performed kind of how I expected. I don't think that this low profile dust deputy was ever meant to be quite as efficient as the regular dust deputy. Speaking of the regular dust deputy, I'm going to rerun the exact same test with my old setup. I'm gonna vacuum up roughly around the same amount of dust, and I'm gonna look inside the shop vac to see what made it past the cyclone. Everything you see here is what made it past that cyclone. I completely cleaned out this bin before this test, so you can see quite a bit of dust is still making it pass, and this is what traditionally would end up in my vacuum bag. The next thing to do is kind of go back to the drawing board, look at some better designs. I think much like the Dyson vacuum cleaners, there's gonna need to be kind of like a dual stage type of cyclone where the first stage you're getting, you know, 95, 98% of most of that dust out, and then you have smaller little cyclones that deals with kind of the fine dust. The first part of the redesign is this piece. This is going to take the place of that. It's going to sit here in the lid. Basically, this is just a cone where the outside is smooth. So all that dust coming in um, kind of hopefully go around the cyclone. But if it does hit this, it doesn't really have anywhere to immediately turn inward. That's going to allow a lot more of that dust to lose momentum on the outside of the cyclone and fall down. The air is actually being drawn inside the cone on the underneath side. So it's going to take quite a bit 
uh, for those heavy dust particles to make that turn. So it's really going to make it just so the fine particles are turning that corner going into the cone. And once again, air is being drawn out through the bottom of it. And then that's going to come into the second stage cyclone. So this looks much like your normal cyclone, except now there's four of them. Air comes in through the top, gets diverted into these four cyclones, spins around, comes out the bottom, and then the air once again is still being sucked downward. These two pieces kind of come together like this, comes back here, and it looks something like this. So it looks kind of goofy. Uh, you know, a lot of this is being driven by the fact that I only have a small little five gallon bucket and the fact that I'm drawing air downwards is kind of making some of the design awkward. But I think this will at least kind of showcase what adding a secondary cyclone separator will do in being able to filter out a lot of that fine dust particles. So let's give this a shot. All right, next test, we now have the dual stage cyclone all set up. Have roughly about the same pile of sawdust here that we're going to vacuum up. And then hopefully that filter's a lot cleaner afterwards. So let's see how this thing works. Like before, you can see a lot of the dust around it. Once again, gonna vacuum that up with my other vacuum. Gonna take the first part off. So you can see it's dusty on the outside, but then you can actually still see quite a bit of dust on the inside. So you do, you, we are still seeing quite a bit of fine dust come up into there. Now for the secondary cyclone. Air is going in there, coming around, and then should be coming out the bottom. Now if you look in there, that's where all the air is going directly now to the motor and that actually looks pretty clean so let's take the motor out and see or the filter out and see and here's the filter it's probably not easy to see but you can look all on the side there you can see all that dust that filters as dirty as the previous test without the secondary cyclone so something's going on and it's not working like i thought it would I want to try one last thing, and that's basically seeing if there's any difference if these secondary smaller cyclones discharge into their own sealed container. Now the reason for this is I think that these cyclones, when they discharge into their own airtight container, that helps keep the vortex in these little you know, cyclone separators. Whereas if they were open to the rest of the canister, that cyclone can get disrupted and make this whole thing less efficient. So in theory, by having these own sealed containers, um, hopefully maybe we see a difference. Maybe these cyclones are more efficient, maybe it won't be. So let's try it out. All right, let's take some of these apart. Oh yeah. Probably not gonna be able to see that, but quite a bit of dust coming out of those secondary cyclones. So clearly the secondary one is catching, you know, what the first cyclone isn't. So it's at least showing that it's doing something. All four of them are like that. So now let's go take a look at the filter and see if the filter's any different, any cleaner. Yeah, that filter looks perfectly brand new and clean. I think there is something to it. I think you do need to separate those secondary cyclones into its own airtight, um, you know, bin. And that seems to probably, you know, really increase the efficiency of those secondary cyclones. So I think I'm onto something there. There's some room for improvement on this, but uh, looking good. I'm now going to do a head to head comparison between my current setup, which is the shop back with the cyclone separator, up against this new dual stage cyclone separator. Now I've already shown you that the current setup, a lot of that fine dust is making it out of the cyclone and into the shop bag. That's generally okay because you have the bag and extra filters, but once again, the whole point of this concept is to get rid of that. So this would have to prove that it's filtering out a lot more of that fine dust. So what I'm going to do to kind of show the comparison is I put a paper towel coming out of the first cyclone, and we're gonna see how long it takes for that paper towel to get clogged up. That's going to show you how much of that fine dust is really making it out. And then I'm going to compare that to the dual stage. Now I've also put a paper towel in there on the airstream right before it gets to the motor. Ideally that doesn't clog up or takes a lot longer to clog up to kind of show the efficiency of this system versus my current system.
So let's try it out. Pretty quick. All right, this is my current setup. This was the one that clogged real quick. It's probably hard to see, but that's pretty caked on there with super fine dust clogging up all the pores of the shop vac. This is the dual stage. You can see that there is still some dust making it through, but it's not caked on there. Um, and you can clearly see from the setup, it sucked up infinitely amount of more dust before it even came close to clogging this. It didn't seem like it lost really any suction at all. So I think, I think that really shows that this, this is a good idea. This has a lot of promise to it. And the whole reason I did this video is because I really just want to see what you all think of this. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think that the tests that I ran here showed its potential? What are some things that you think I should change? What are some things that you think I should implement? What are some of your biggest pain points with your shop vacs or with your cyclone separator shop vac combination that you're using in your shop? Tell me what you like. Tell me what you dislike. Tell me some of the ideas you have. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe to the video, but more importantly, get down in the comments, let me know what you think. Thank you.